Gurindji traditional owners have finally been returned their native title rights to Wave Hill Station, which was the birthplace of the Aboriginal land rights movement. In 1975, Gough Whitlam made the symbolic gesture of pouring soil into the hand of Gurindji leader Vincent Lingiari. But that moment was only the start of the Gurindji people's struggle. After 200 Aboriginal stockmen and their families walked off Wave Hill Station in protest over poor pay and dispossession. Returning to where it all began, the walk-off at the old Wave Hill Station in 1966, which led to the land rights movement. I wasn't born here. Like I've been walking from here. Holy day. I've been working no money. When then Prime Minister Gough Whitlam poured a handful of soil into Gurindji stockman Vincent Lingiari's hand in 1975, it was a symbolic gesture. But the Gringy only got back grazing rights to part of the rich Vestes Wave Hill station then, and land rights to another portion in 1986. I think all of us would recognise that today is a particularly special determination of native title. It wasn't until this federal court sitting that the Gringy's native title rights to the rest of the land were recognised. I'm real proud because this Wave Hill walk up started everything for the land right. These old sheds are all that's left of the old homestead from which Vincent Lingiari and the Gringy stockmen walked off Wave Hill Station in protest in 1966. They weren't to know then how important this site would become in the history of Aboriginal land rights. I am so proud to be a granddaughter of Vincent. It makes me feel so proud that I'm here today. The walk-off sparked a nationwide push for dispossession to be righted, which veterans of that day now feel is helping to heal Australia's divisions. You guys, ladies and gentlemen, make me real proud. I'm real happy with you, Mum. Jane Barton, ABC News, Wave Hill Station.